Hello and welcome to SISD TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, SISD students participated in the 2019 Middle School Science and Engineering Fair at Pebble Hills High School. The 6th through 8th grade students showcased their projects in various categories including animal sciences, behavioral and social science, biochemistry, biomedical engineering, and many more. The push that we wanted to have was to give more kids the opportunity to come in and try this. And the coordinators came through and we ended up with 160 more projects than we did last year. This presents a tremendous opportunity for the kids. They're able to research. They're able to put their thoughts down. Once they're finished with all that stuff, they have to stand up and present it to somebody else. They are very outgoing. They sell it. They get excited about the topic. We got judged once by two judges and they were asking us about our experiments and we would tell them what we did and our procedures and our results and conclusions. I was kind of nervous. I was practicing before I was measuring water hardness and their pH levels. I was a little bit nervous, but at the end, like, I'm proud of myself for coming out here and actually presenting, and I'm proud of everyone that came today to present. With all the science projects and different activities we have for the district, they get me ready for college and make it to the next step in life. Socorro ISD Superintendent Dr. Jose Espinosa met with students and parents at their Superintendent Advisory Councils at Pebble Hills High School. Students and parents received an update on Bond 2017 construction projects, things happening around Team SISD, and got the opportunity to learn and see many of the programs at Pebble Hills High School. My overall thoughts, I've never thought that it's possible to even have a vet inside of a high school. Seeing that now is just amazing. There's also an engineering program, it's really great. That opens up so many doors for students. They're doing their best to make every kid's dream come true and let them know that they're supporting them every step of the way. This is my first time, so I really enjoyed the tour. I, I didn't know that they had livestock, so and the culinary was just great. They, they took us to the back to see all the ovens. This is definitely a school I'm gonna look into for our children once they reach high school. This is why I love Socorro Independent School District. They've always kept us informed with emails. They answered all the questions that needed to be answered, so it, it was a great experience. SISD Board Trustee Paul Garcia read to second grade students at Jose F. Carrasco Elementary School. Garcia, together with the Gringe, encouraged students to be kind and continue reading. Uh, I wanted to put out a message that uh, it's okay to be different. The Grinch is obviously very different, and I think the kids got that message. They went through a roller coaster of emotions, excitement, suspense, empathy. They were feeling, you know, sorry for the Grinch, and you know, at, at certain times, the way that they just embraced them. At the end, the Grinch says, "I just want a hug. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a little different." It's so important that we make sure to never forget anyone. You know, we don't leave a man behind. We got to be kind to everyone and make sure that we're there for everybody. That was the message today. It's educational. It could help us learn more. It, it's kind of fun because you could, you could read books. You actually get to see the minor characters who are playing it. He was trying to be sneaky. He was trying to scare us. He would always grab onto the curtain. And that was kind of like mostly funny. That was my favorite part. Horizon Heights Elementary School, in partnership with Burger King, donated Christmas meal baskets to El Paso Community College students. The initiative was driven to help college students who may be struggling financially, resulting in a lack of regular meals. We know that there's other kiddos that don't have you know, the ability to maybe go grab a pizza when they want to, go to the movies or their parents can't get them Christmas gifts. The kids asked us who they could contact to help out so they could give also. Kindness is something that goes a long way. We've already given 150 baskets to Socorro Independent School Districts, students, custodians, cross guard monitors, and today we wanted to help college students. That may be stressing right now with finals and Christmas season in general. We have a past community college that has a food pantry for college students and we need to give back to them as well so we really would like more people to participate in that. Team SISD, in partnership with Sigma Tau Chapter of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity, donated 24 food baskets 
for SISE families in need during the holiday break. Campus principals received the basket donations in representation of the families. We're here presenting 24 food baskets to needy families within our local community. Our job, what we try to do is support the community by providing food assistance or even Habitat for Humanity or serving at the local food pantry. As your slogan say, El Paso Strong, and in order to keep El Paso Strong, you got to be willing to contribute to the community. This is a tremendous gift for them. It's a gift of a meal that, of course, can last the span of a few days. So it's just one last thing that they really have to worry about. And having them be so grateful about everything you know that they're going to use it to the max. It's nice to be able to have all of these things to give to, to our families that are in need right now. Team SISD hosted the 2019 Superintendent's Holiday Open House at the District Service Center. The event featured performances by SISD students, a holiday cookie bake-off competition, pictures with Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and much more. I think it's great for like the SISD community. It gets everyone together, it brings a lot of joy, happiness, and it just brings the community together. You get to see all the people, enjoy the music, you get to see how they come together, and, and you get to see the joy they get out of hearing the entertainment. As a family, it got us uh, together. We get to see them make some cookies or Christmas tree activities. It's great so far. We like it here and we hope to do more activities with the district. I'm here with my wonderful team um, and we are decorating a cookie. We decorated it as a snow globe and we put a snowman in the middle and we wrote, it's no secret that Team SISD has endless opportunities. I would want to do it again. El Dorado High School student athletes signed their letters of intent to play at universities and colleges across the country. It feels kind of unreal because this is something I've dreamed about since I first started playing soccer. So the fact that I actually was able to accomplish this goal is just amazing. I feel like greatly my coaches have contributed, both my city coach and my high school coach. I think they've prepared me to go on to the next level with confidence. It feels amazing. Like I never thought this day would come, but it has. Well, I'm signing to Midland College for softball. Just having support being SISD. I just want to say thank you to them. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with the Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Jose Espinosa, with the Twitter handle at jespinosa underscore SISD. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook and visit our website. Thank you again and see you next time. Oh.